Hello Internet, Ben here with another little update. Um, this needs to be pretty quick because it is late and I need to go to bed, but I have made more better treasures. Um, there's one, that one's actually hard to see. I said more better, but that one is a lie because it's silver. Just all the treasure needs to be gold. Making different colors is too confusing. Um, and I don't know if you could hear that, but it made a little blink noise. I've been working on just a couple sounds. Um, there's 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 a little bit of gold. I think I don't like them coming out of vases anymore because you may notice that those aren't animated. Um, let me show you where it looks good, and then perhaps you'll understand. Um, and then I will definitely be working on making it look good in all the parts of the game. There was a little click for pressing that button. It only does the click when you step on it. There needs to be click when you step off. But I don't have to step off. Uh, <laughs> that's a more different phrase. Anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go. Let's go. I'm going. So we can find the more better treasure. Oh, this is a good. Here we go. Little pile. So it's meant to be a little more piled. I might just do more treasure to make it more piled, but you get them. Yeah, I get lots of treasures in, in little piles because why would you have three treasures that each give you 10 points when you could instead have 30 treasures that give you one point each. That's so much more fun to run around and collect a bajillion little treasures. Um, so that's what I started to do. More treasures is more better. I'm going to these little guys. See if I can find another treasure room. That one seemed... Well, they were just a little more dispersed. Nope, that's the very next room that I do want. Which means it's not the room I want. It's the one you want if you want to be a level. I don't want to be a level. I want to find treasure. Treasure! Yeah, I like these little mounds of treasure that end up in places. Um, <laughs> it sounds funny. I really hope that sounds coming through. So anyway, that's what I, I have, you know, been working on. Um, I mean, there's been some other things, too. Some some little code cleanup. Yeah, I did a, a reorganization of how I load files. Um, kind of an evolution of how I've done things for Mysterious Space and Spaceman, which I never released, which is sad because I got really far on that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I do have this kind of system that I've been working on. Oh, and the pause screen, the disco pause screen. I think I need to do something about this too. I So because the title screen had this animated tile, I mean, I'll just show that off again for context, I thought that maybe I should do something similar for the pause. Um, I don't know. It looks a little better here than it looks on the... Uh, on the pause screen somehow I, I don't know but I, I and I specifically did look up kind of old um, <laughs> I say old uh, but yeah I mean whatever you know like I, I specifically was like 60s 70s repeating pattern like trying to find because I, the geometric shapes I wanted something geometric um, and this kind of had that feeling to me so I tried searching for more things like that it's possible the smaller squares are kind of better for the repeating texture than those bigger squares um, it's possible that the transparency just doesn't work on the um, on the pause screen. I don't know, so I need to play with it. Or, or maybe it just shouldn't be animated, or maybe I shouldn't... I don't know. I mean, I need some sort of dimming effect to, to dim out the background, but I do want to leave it there um, in case you are just kind of trying to get some bearings. I don't know. I, I thought it seems like a helpful thing to be like, well, you can still, you know, see what's going on, but um, I don't know. If that's the case, then maybe I should just be doing it something simpler than an animated thing. I don't know. You know, it requires some thought. But anyway, that was something I threw together. Um, and I really hope that exit and go are the only words I use in the whole game. Well, and never mind the title. Um, just because I don't want to have to deal with uh, translation again, which I think I mentioned. Not because, like, I enjoyed working with the people I did to make the translations for Mysterious Space. Like, I have no regrets in that regard. Uh, the regrets are more just that it's a lot of effort to, to translate a lot of text. It, like, I, I, you know, it's something I have to keep up with. Like more text gets added to the game, I have to make sure it's it's hard to put it into a place where it's easy to translate. You know, harder than it is just throw it in the code in in English. Um, and I'd like the games to be as accessible as possible. So um, I'm trying to do a minimum amount of language. And I've seen that in some other games too. Um, there was one I played recently, Hyperlight Drifter, zero language, sometimes to its detriment. <laughs> Because there are some complex things they try to communicate to you in that game with these series of pictures, and you're just like, what am I buying? <laughs> you know. But no, I mean, they, they did a really good job overall, for sure. Um, so yeah, it's always interesting to see that in games. Um, the Witness, as well, is another game where you, you need no words. That, that's, that's great to me. And it's an interesting challenge to work under, because I feel like games should be self-explanatory. If you can make a game and you don't have to ever throw any words or text or dialogue at people, but they can still play, 
I, I think that says something positive about your game. So I, you know, I think there's a couple reasons to, to, to have that as a goal. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe I need to replace a, you know, maybe it shouldn't even say go. I don't know. I could understand the argument, you know, let's go, let's go all the way, right? And, but I don't know. Um, and I'll use numbers and, and not worry about it too much. I think that the uh, Arabic numbers system, right? I mean, that's the, the one we know and in, in, in love in, in the U.S. and Europe. I'm pretty sure that's, you know, I know that uh, Japanese and Chinese have their own counting symbols as well, but I think it's pretty worldwide. We, we understand at least one number system pretty globally, right? Right? I think that's true. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about nonsense. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and, and as always, I will post more as I have more. Good night.